I'm in Bozeman. You are in Bozeman. And uh, we welcome you to Bozeman. We love it when you come we went out here. We fishing yesterday. We did go fishing, kind of. Oh, well, well, I... <laughs> Lightning fishing. <laughs> I hope this big brown trout, he jumped out of the water as you're saying, we're going to die because <laughs> of lightning. I'm looking up. Yeah. You're fishing. I'm thinking <laughs> lightning. And, yeah, uh, well, and I'm holding the fishing rod, holding which is a piece of carbon. Yeah. Great. That's really good. Good stuff. We thank so you. how did the store become Music Villa? What happened? So how Music did this Villa... Come? Music Villa's been around a long time. There is a, a, a lady, Armina uh, Hoos, Juice, Hoos, J-O-O-S. They started this business, I think it was in Seattle, moved to Bozeman. Their kids ran it. My dad bought it from their Mom kids. and pop shop, Mom like and band shop. instrument type thing? They did guitars too. They did really? everything, yeah. And um, it's been in Bozeman for, you know, late 70s. And my dad bought it early 80s. And... Uh, little shop downtown and we moved over to this location and been here a long time That's and great. Uh, yeah music so building. you're in the home of the acoustic guitar but you're starting to sell a lot of electrics we do we do a lot of electrics we do a lot of your fine instruments i mean we uh we and love what, it. what is the cbs thing you guys collect what is it what is the the things that don't work what are they what is that called? The what? Esteban guitars. Oh, Esteban. Yeah. You collect Esteban we are, guitars. We have the display of Esteban We are going to be in the guitars. Guinness Book of World Records for the largest Esteban collection. you got to come see it. I, <laughs> you have a huge guitar collection. We have a lot of guitars. Yeah. So and, uh, the guitar that made me want to start making guitars is hanging on your wall because... It was there's a Tisca Del Rey from the Sears yeah, catalog hanging yeah. on your wall, and I thought to myself, for a hundred bucks, why don't you just fret it better? Why don't you just carve the neck better? You still got to put a sunburst on it. You still got to wire the pickup. You still got to string it. You still got to fret it. You still. And why don't you just do it all well? Right. And that guitar is hanging on the wall. That's here. what I love about those guitars hanging on the wall. People come in the store, and they go, "That was my first guitar," and it brings back memories. memories yeah. And it's just it's fun. You are just. So passionate about guitars, yeah. and that's what we love about your guitars. You have done so much in the last year. Um, you know, I guess you you know, 40 years of your life, you're 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 dedicated to guitars. Yeah. In the last year, you have done stuff that is just it's amazing. What are, what are you what are you well, excited it's, about it's right now? What are you, it's what are very you sweet? Look, the last nine years. People were buying pedals. They really weren't buying guitars, right? They were buying acoustic guitars and they were buying pedals. And I think finally all the pedal boards got built and guitar sales are back, electric guitar sales are yeah. back. And you have a store full of experts. So in my world, the definition of an expert is somebody in a very complicated area that solves very, very complicated problems over and over again. In the last hour, somebody walks in with this ancient old Gibson acoustic, and he had some problems with identifying mm -hmm. what it was, and we yeah. pretty much yeah. were able to tell him what the deal was. And um, you were being more than fair which yes. with him, which I was like, I never heard anybody be that fair, but you well, must be that way with all your customers yeah. at, because they keep coming back. And, you know, we're here because I think that this could be an extraordinary electric guitar store. I mean, you, as you said, acoustic guitars are the thing I grew yeah. up on. But acoustics is a lot of our main business is you know higher end acoustics, yeah. but also we definitely we high sold end. a private stock a couple we sold, days yeah. ago. We uh, things are coming. We along continue. Here. Things are coming along great. What's what are you working on right now? What's your right, what's so, your what's your favorite right, so thing right now? <sighs> I'm a, I study what. I study what happened in the 50s a lot because that was when our business was born. The electric guitar started, you know, actually the first one was made in 1923, but um, from 48 to 63, there was this extraordinary thing that was built. And if I can find things from those instruments that I think need to live again, um, we try and do it. So the 594, um, which a lot of your employees have bought. They have all bought them. Um, and they bought S2s before, which was very interesting. Um, uh, the old scale length 24.594 has, is back and um, for us. Uh, we analyzed a huge number of pickups from that era and was able to, they have a, actually a pretty wide range. Some of them are really bright and some of them are semi-bright and some of them are dark and we've found a good spot to put that in, which is that whole 
a 5815 LT pickup thing, and we actually shot one of your employees' guitars out with my baby, and I didn't want to change the pickups in it, which means we had done a good job on it. You've done a great job. 594 has yeah. been amazing. Really, you sold it, bunches of them. Yeah, they're, they're, they sell as fast as we get them, and they're, people love them. Well, we're back ordered six months, so I'm warning you. Yeah. But, look, and you know what that's like, you know, um, the way it's guitar sales go in our world, it goes up and down and up and down and up and down. And our ability to adjust is not so good. So when people want more, they're mad at us. And when they, <laughs> we've made too many, and uh, they're yeah. mad at us. But there's right. a, a moment right now where things are really good. We're I feel like we are. We're coming out of this. By. You know, I call it the the disco era. And you know, there was a time in the disco era where a lot of the acoustic guitar manufacturers suffered a bit. Yeah. And I felt like we've been in that era with electrics for the, for the last few years. The last few years, and it's, but it's, it's getting it's, better. It's, it's exploding, and you're kind of leading the way in that explosion yeah. of excellent electric guitars. So if you're watching this video, PRS is very invested in Music Villa and in this market in Bozeman. And to me, this is a good place to be. I like coming here. It's been a yearly trek. There's a bunch of people coming for a clinic tonight. Yep. Um, do you Instagram live? Do you do that? Do you do the do, Facebook yeah. live and yeah. all that stuff? Yeah. Tonight we should do that. We'll, we'll do a Facebook live. So I used to be, I would go on the road and I could reach 200 people on a two day trip, right? Now, 20, 30,000 people in 15 minutes walking out of my office and going around the other side. Things have changed in it's this world. It's a whole new world. It's, 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 it's good. So how is your online presence now? It's getting better it's and getting better. It's getting better. We're working on a new website right now. We've been, um, you know, just, you know, it's always working. I mean, social media and web stuff is, it, it is the future. It's what we're doing. I mean, we have to do it every day. And it's, All right. So some stores you walk in and people are just looking around, they leave. Yeah. In this store, they they, walk, they look around and they don't want to leave without yeah. something. That's good. This is a, in our world, in the manufacturers, we call this a brick and mortar, but it really is a destination store. Um, very much like Dave's, he has a museum upstairs. Yeah. You have a museum of yeah. instruments here, and um, yeah, you were plugging into a Marshall amp over there yeah, a while ago, well. and uh, <laughs> and having some fun. Yeah, and, uh, well, that <laughs> that model of that year of those hundred watts was the sound of ZZ Top and the sound. I mean, from what I can hear of Led Zeppelin and God knows how many other bands, and it was just fun to play yeah, through. Yeah, it was. It was fun to hear you play it. Yeah, it Our fun. neighbors down the street yeah, enjoyed they, hearing I, it, look, too. Look, I put the cabinet in the closet. <laughs> it's not something you want to use live, but I, from what I understand, that guy used to use that amp in your band, and you had to get bigger sticks to even I compete. Did. You can't uh, You can't compete with that. Yeah, that's It was great. a great sound. You are also building really cool amps right now, yeah. the Sanzera. So we I just can play this in for everybody if you want. So look, first, way, way less than $1,000. Yes. You can get an amp that... Usually you don't have that fullness and the pristineness and the bass all at the same time, especially with the amp up on a chair, right? Yeah. But hit the button and we'll put the distortion channel on it. getting that kind of tone, right? So I don't think for the money you're going to beat it. We're backward on these yeah. things. People are buying them. We've been waiting. We just got three in, and it's fabulous amp. i got to tell you. you so got to come check it out. Our son's ears. Yep. So look, I'll do whatever I can do to support the store. It's nice to be here. You have a store of experts. That means if you call the store and you have a question, you have, you're looking for something, you're looking for something, whether it be with acoustics or PRS or whatever brand it is the store carries, you're talking to somebody who understands what's going on. And if they don't know, they'll say, I don't know. And a real expert will say, I don't know. Exactly. And, you know, be suspicious if somebody knows the answers to everything. It doesn't Very kind of true. Work. Very true. You do on the, on the river, I noticed, when we're fishing. What? 
You you know everything. On I the don't. River. Know, you but do. The river I was asking you. all kinds of questions. You were jumping right in there and yeah. getting after it, and it was great. I didn't have any waiters on. <laughs> <laughs> he was worried about me freezing. And I had I'm waiters sorry. on, and it's cold out there, and you just jump in with your jeans and your tennis yeah, shoes. Yeah, well. And you're out there I'm, fishing. I'm sorry. I'm from Maryland. I don't get the chance to fish the Madison very often. <laughs> I think it's uh, extraordinary territory that I'm even there. You say you take pictures of this whole area I constantly, even day. though you live here. I do. I love it. And that's because it's beautiful. It is beautiful. you got to come to Bozeman. How many come. kids you got? I have four. And a beautiful wife. you got a big yeah. life going yeah, on here. I do. It's so people should come to the store or vi visit online? Yeah. Well, this is my guitar. This one's not for sale. Okay. Although I did bring it, and it didn't win the shootout, but it didn't lose it. Okay. Well, you do shootouts here a lot with people's gear. Yeah, maybe we'll do We're some tonight. We're gonna do some shootouts tonight. All right, cool. I've got some guitars. That I'm gonna pull out. We're gonna do a uh, shootout. Oh, danger, 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 Will <laughs> Robinson. All well, right, thanks. It's a pleasure. Love having you here. And uh, we're doing a clinic tonight. You got to come down and check it out. And we thank you for watching, Paul. We thank you for coming. Uh, thanks for being here. Beautiful thanks guitars. Be here. And. Uh, so we'll the rug you. upstairs, you're going to give it to me, right, for my studio? No. We could do some trading. Yeah, right. <laughs> See ya. Bye. Thanks.